we are going to create a tree map that describes the different types of atoms that we need to know about for this year. So I want you across the top with the title, three types of atoms. And then we'll have three bars coming down, neutral, ions, and isotopes. With the ions, you're gonna break it into two parts, negative and positive. So do that in your notebook. And what I'm going to do is, just so that we can focus on one part at a time, let's just talk about neutral. So neutral atoms, a lot of times you just hear your teacher say atom. <clears throat> if they're not saying ion or isotope, you can assume they're speaking about a neutral atom. And when you look at the periodic table, all that information on the periodic table is describing your neutral atoms. The number of protons will equal the number of electrons in a neutral atom. No electrical charge. It's neutral. Hence the word or name neutral atom. So it has a balanced number of positive charges and negative charges. Ions are a bit different. When we change the number of electrons, a neutral atom will become a positive or negative electron. For example, the negative ion. That's when an atom, a neutral atom, gains an electron. It's gaining negative charge. That's why we call it a negative ion. So when it gains an electron, it creates an imbalance where there are less protons and more electrons the atom becomes negatively charged. The opposite of that is a positive ion. So when a neutral atom loses an electron, there is now an imbalance and there are more protons making it positive and less electrons. So let me show you a quick demonstration. Here's my electrons. Here are my protons. Okay? And they are equal to each other right now. So that's a neutral atom. So I have equal number of positive charges, an equal number of a, a negative charge. So, let's do this real quick. Clear this. Oops. Group this one. Okay, so, if I have a neutral atom, they're equal to each other. But, if I take the electrons and we take away an electron, we no longer are equal, but now we've become what kind of atom? I take away negative, so now I have more pro plus or protons than I do electrons. We now have a positive ion. But if we do just the opposite, and I take away a proton, I now have a negative, because I have more negative charges, so a negative ion. Okay? The last thing I want to talk to you about are isotopes. And isotopes is when we go from a neutral atom to an isotope by taking or adding uh, neutrons. So, important to remember, the number of protons does not change. The number of electrons does not change. The electrical charge does not change. It still stays neutral. Okay? So we have to remember that the atomic mass will change 
and the number of neutrons will change.